Hey there, this is Ilze B. I am a Latvian and I teach Latvian to English speakers. Welcome to my Latvian challenge for words a day, day 9. I had already planned out how to make this lesson today, but then I received a comment under my yesterday's lesson on my Facebook group Learn Latvian with Ilze B. That comment was from Adam. And Adam asked if I could include some greeting phrases in my lesson. And at the beginning I thought, well, those greeting phrases, they are all over the internet. But then I gave it some more thought and I thought that there are things that I could teach you that are not enough explained in other places that I have seen where Latvian is taught. Is taught. So, today I'm going to actually teach you about greeting phrases. So, bear with me if you think that you know it all, but you might get some information that you didn't know about before. So, please stay with me and comment afterwards and tell me how you like this lesson or if there are any specific things that you would like to learn about. But now let's get to the greeting phrases. Remember, that our limit is four words a day. So I had to carefully think about what to include in today's lesson. Now let's think, how would you greet a person if you spoke English? Well, here in America, when I walk on the street in my neighborhood, people would usually say hi, or even more often, they would just simply start out by saying, how are you? That wouldn't be appropriate in Latvia. So when people ask me how, how are you is in Latvian, I am very hesitant to answer that question because I know that it's not appropriate to start out by that question. Latvians take that question literally. They don't take it as a greeting. And they wouldn't normally ask a person who they don't know how they are. They take it as an invasion of their privacy or as if you were entering their personal space without an invitation. So I'm not going to teach you how it is in Latvian, how are you? Because I don't think you need it at this very early stage. You would ask that question to a Latvian after you've known him or her for some time. So what is safe to say to a Latvian? It is very safe to say labdien, 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 labdien. This is a word that has derived from two other words, laba diena. Laba diena means a good day. So what has happened is that the endings of those two words, laba and diena, have been cut off and those words have been glued together. And thus we get the word labdien. This word has a fixed form and it will never change its form, unlike an adjective laba or a noun diena. So you can safely say labdien, labdien, labdien. Labdien means good day or have a good day. But you can say this only if it's a day, but not if it's the morning or an evening. But since I have the limit of four words a day, I'm not going to teach you how to say good morning or good evening. Instead, I will tell you about another word that is also misused, and that word is sveiks. By the way, a couple of days ago, I received a letter from somebody who addressed me or who greeted me by saying sveiks, and it is actually not appropriate to say sveiks to me. And you would wonder, why is that? Well. The one thing is that Latvian 
Latvian language and Latvian people are very gender sensitive and the word sveiks actually is an adjective and adjectives change their endings according to whether they would be linked to a masculine noun or a feminine noun and it also matters whether that noun is in singular or in plural. So the word sveiks is a word with which you can greet a man. But that's not all. If you don't know the man very well, you would still not say sveiks to him because Latvians don't address each other in the singular form. They would start addressing each other in a singular form after some time when they've gotten to know each other. Usually younger people would not address an older person in a singular form. Usually that would happen only after that older person would give a permission to switch to the singular form. This tradition is fading though, but still if you want to be culturally appropriate and on the safe side, you should take this into consideration. And another note to this, it is not only that you wouldn't address an older person in a singular form. You would also not address a person who is of a higher authority or some authority to you anyway. For instance, if I am your teacher of Latvian, you would probably not address me in a singular form right away because I am like an authority in this situation because I am teaching you something. That's what Latvian is like. Anyway, I am not that sensitive as it comes to my Latvian students because I understand that you are only learning Latvian and about Latvian traditions. So if you wanted to greet me in a singular form, how would you do that? Well, you would say sveika, sveika, sveika. That is a gender appropriate form of that word when you are addressing a woman or a girl. Sveika. Now more about this word sveiks or sveika. It is an adjective. Adjective is a describing word, like a red dress. Red would be the adjective. The adjective or describing word that describes a dress. And the word sveiks or sveika actually means safe and sound. So when you are greeting somebody using this word sveiks or sveika, you are wishing that person to be safe and sound. So once more, sveiks is good for men and sveika is good for women. But how about a group of people? For a group of people, you would use the word sveiki. It's actually the same word, but it has changed its ending to i. So sveiki is a good word for a group of people. But it is also a good word if you don't know a person very well and if you would like to address him or her in a plural form. So then you would use the word sveiki. This is something that even American Latvians confuse because they are so used to American culture and they think that they know the language, but they have integrated in the American culture so well that they have lost that cultural awareness of what Latvian culture is. So I guess I'm teaching you something valuable today. So, I have used already two words and I have two more words to teach you. Now, how to say goodbye. A safe thing to say is uz redzēšanos. Uz redzēšanos. Uz redzēšanos. It's a long word and since I'm not teaching your sentences today, I will start teaching this word from its end. And the last syllable of the word is nos. 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 
there's that letter which actually is a diphthong that I have taught you before, ua. And the final syllable again is noas. The syllable that precedes the syllable noas is sha, sha, sha. And these two syllables together are sha noas, sha noas. Shanoas. But the syllable that precedes the syllable sha will be quite difficult for you. And that syllable is z. The letter combination d and z are pronounced together as if it was one sound, z. And the syllable all together is z, z, z. The last Three syllables together would be ze sha noas. Ze sha noas. Ze sha noas. And the first syllable of that word is re. Re is quite easy if you know how to pronounce the Latvian r sound. Re. Re. So the first two syllables are re ze. Redze, redze, and the last two syllables are shanoas, shanoas, shanoas. Let's glue them together and get the word. Redze, shanoas. The first syllable is stressed because in Latvian, in most cases, the first syllable is stressed. But like like I taught you before, you can put a small stress on the third syllable, if that makes it easier for you. So the word once again is redze shanoas, redze shanoas, redze shanoas, redze shanoas. But there is another word in this phrase, and that word is uz. You have already heard this word, but here this word has another meaning, and that meaning is to. And this phrase literally means to seeing, or to seeing each other, or to me seeing you. That's how I could translate it into Latvian as closely as possible to its meaning. So, once more, the phrase is Uz redze shanoas. Uz redze shanoas. The word uz is not stressed. The rhythm would be no, yes, no, no, no. Or no, yes, no, yes, no. With that second yes being slightly less stressed. So, once more, I will pronounce the phrase uz redze shanoas. Uz redze shanoas. And although it means to seeing you again, you can also use this phrase if you write letters. It's also appropriate. This is a formal phrase, but how would you say bye or goodbye informally? Well, this will be very simple, very easy, because that word is ata. 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 And here the second syllable is stressed. The second letter A is also long. The first A is short. And the word is ata. 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 This was the first word my older son learned. His first word was not mama or teti, but it was ata. And it was very funny that when we went for a walk and we walked by a school and children came out or went in and there was that movement of people, he just liked standing there and waving to everybody and saying ata, ata, because that was the context in which he had learned that word. Probably when his grandparents were visiting us and then leaving they always said ata, and that's the word that he learned first. So I hope that I have satisfied 
Adam's request. I have taught you four words today. Those words were sveiks, sveika, sveiki, and I treat them as a single word because that's just one word with different endings. Then the next word was labdien, 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 and that means good day. If we translate it literally, then the next phrase that I taught you had one new word, and that word was redzēšanos, redzēšanos, and the entire phrase was uz redzēšanos. And finally, there was the word atā, atā, which is informal, bye. So, I'm saying bye for now, till tomorrow. Remember to download the summary of this class by clicking the link in the description of the video.